Well, Bruce, I got the tailgate fit and sanded and ready for the final sand for the clear coat. Now, this is going to get about seven to eight coats of clear. Every bit of this panel is going to be uh, taken apart, this out, that out, uh, cleared on the inside, cleared on the outside. But I have to have that many coats on the outside to get the UV resistance and, uh, and all we need to protect this wood. And that's going to be a process. There's nine pieces here with all the inserts, so there's a, there's a lot of clear to do. But I've gotten in, uh, these, the back two pieces are going to be the hardest pieces to fit. So uh, I, I set these up here, you know, had them at the show and kind of seen how they line up. This one lines up uh, at the poorest fitment of all. Uh, it's misshapen right here. Uh, it, 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 it'll work in right here and up here, but something I've got to do something with this. Uh, it's misshapen at the back. It was a little misshapen at the front. I really can't move this because it's glued and screwed together in this position. Uh, they got the wrong panels in here. These panels are quarter inch. They're supposed to be eighth inch. I've been talking to Tom Fritz about this and he's been helping me tremendously uh, on uh, how to get this on here and, and working properly. And uh, he was telling me that these originally were eighth inch. So they put these quarter inch panels in here, I guess to save money. And then they have uh, screws in there. So those screws and that thickness are touching the metal. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in here and move all the metal that's touching them. We'll have to have this on and off several times and uh, come up with a way to mark it to where uh, I can move all the metal down and then I'll try to trim any wood out of the way that I can. There's, there's not much trimming you can do in behind here. And, uh, and then get that in place and then see what I can do about taking this down and, and back here down. Uh, it just doesn't want to fit. So it's been a frustrating road to get to this point. I have had this off and on here quite a few times. I've got me some marks in here, so I went ahead and indexed it after I, after I started getting it. I've had to trim here to get all this kind of fit in. And every time you trim a little here, it fits a little different there. It's been off and on, off and on, off and on. And I'm making small adjustments because uh, I can't add the wood back to it. So I have, when, I, when I get to the point where it needs to be, that's it. It's got to be perfect all the way around. This line right here all the way around the car is, is going to be one of the... Uh, only spots where you're going to see the the body seam, so it really needs to be uh, really needs to be focused in around there. The door covers the entire door, so all you have is this rocker down here. But but this area is going to be the hardest part, and this is the worst fitting one. So this is going to be uh, the toughest one of all. But but as it is now, after all that metal moving and grinding and work I've done, I've got it laid in there pretty dang nice all the way around. I still got a little bit right here that I'll have to take out but uh, it's fitting nice. It's just a lot of off and on and off and on, grinding and fitting and grinding and fitting. Once I get this body line around through here, uh, then I'll start setting the depths. So like where this is out, just a little bit here, and it's in a little bit here, I'll have to make a shim that'll stay in the car and uh, to stop it there, but to pull it down here. I'm, I'm worried about cracking it, so I'm not gonna move it too far there. There's gonna be a point where I'm gonna feel uncomfortable with moving it, and I'll just grind that down. But uh, I'll give you a closer look at this, uh, how this is coming. Front here, you can see how good I've got it fitting uh, down through here. And that's a tough cut to make uh, all the way down through there. That, that takes a little time because of the way I have to cut that and the way that mouse on there. Uh, but so far, so good on that. Down here at the bottom, you can see how good that's fitting. You can see what I've got right here. I've got to, This has got to come out. so. It's, uh, it's fitting good here and fitting good down there, and then this just overhangs. So I'm trying to move that in. The other side ain't like it. Just that side right there is, uh, is not a good fit. Uh, you can see my index marks. This is where I, I strike it every time. I put it right back on those marks so that uh, I know I'm cutting it right. Uh, I've got this in pretty good shape. You know, and then keep in mind, now that I've got this fitting all the way down through here, i got my marks here. I've got to come back and put a body line all the way around that because this wood is going to expand and contract so and move around and uh, and then put my uh, spacers in it and then sculpt it to fit so it's a lot of work in this fitment of this wood and uh, I can't make one mistake so uh, just going to proceed with caution. I'm trying to get this thing dialed in now. I've got all the inserts in it and all the studs in it right now. Then I've, I've shimmed it in, in a where it need to be shim, where it's pulled up tight uh, against the uh, the little the insert. So uh, when the nut tightens up, the insert tightens up, and I have a uh, Allen drive uh, stud in there, so I can hold that stud. I don't want that stud to come through and pop a hole in it. 
So it's very delicate on the install, but the way I've got it, it just, it just grabs and clamps. So I've got different size spaces all the way through there and I'll keep them in there. But it's got it locked on there, solid all the way around without any actual pulling tension on the wood. Uh, it's all done right there at that, that nut. Um, then once I've got it all indexed in place, now I've rolled the edges in and blocked it to the body all the way around so that I could, could give me a good reveal around the edges. Um, as I set that in there, uh, on and off and on and off, I was using a piece of cardboard and I had already set that gap all the way around uh, to this cardboard. Uh, and then, so now I've went back and I'm taking the cardboard and I've put a piece of sandpaper on one side of it. And I am working that all the way around. And then I'll probably put a couple of pieces of tape on it, just get a little bit more. I'm gonna get about two millimeters or so on there, all the way around. And, uh, and then that's gonna be a perfect fit. Up here, I've taken this down quite a bit. I do have an insert in here and I can't, this was the worst spot, this piece was out. And I tried to pull it in, it doesn't wanna move. Uh, and this is shaped like this. If I pull it in, it'll be like uh, putting a dent in it there. Uh, I just can't do that. So I've got to, I've taken it down quite a bit. I've got a little bit of body work I can do right here. The way this changes on that radius is a little different than everywhere else. Uh, so I'll fix that and do a couple of more little fields on it. And uh, this piece right here is fitting like a glove. Uh, it's going pretty good. So I'm going all the way around it with this. Uh, having that cardboard on the back side, and that eight gear on this side just let me cut it right to the surface of that surround there. And uh, I'll keep adding layers of tape on the back of this and just keep running around it just a couple more times so that I make a real consistent, I'm just looking for a consistent all the way around. Some places are a little looser than others. And uh, then once it's consistent all the way around, I'll stop right there and uh, then I'll blend all this in and this piece will be fit like a glove. Finally, I got this piece fitting. This was the most difficult and non-fitting piece that I had. So I started with it. And, uh, and now it's fitting like a glove. Let me show you how good this fits. So I got my cardboard. I can go all the way around this. And it's a perfect fit all the way around. I've got the depth set uh, just perfectly. Um, and the way I've got this fastened, I've got it uh, tightened at each point through uh, spacers and through shims. So it's just locked down right at each point and not just pulled against it. I'll show you how I got this thing fastened on here. All right, this is the pasture side and I'm working on fitting it in. Uh, first off, I've got a zinc coated insert in there that has a quarter 20 thread in the middle. And uh, they screw down in there very nice. Then I have a uh, stainless steel quarter 20 stud in there with the Allen drive. That way I can hold this as I tighten it up so I don't push it through the wood. Because these are, these are pretty close to the surface of the wood where the hole is there. And I don't want to damage that. And uh, this being zinc coated and, and these stainless. Then what I've got are uh, some uh, nylon spacers in there on every one of them. So uh, they, they actually lock down on that. That tightens down and locks down right at that point. So it's not just pulling the wood in, it's actually just locking down at each point all the way around. And uh, then I have the, uh, the rubber washer and, uh, and a thick washer. And then all that goes on with a locking nut and that sandwich is down rock solid and I think that's a pretty good pretty good install right there and you won't see any of the the bolts to the outside no three bolts all just going to be hidden so uh, that worked out pretty good so let me see if I can get this side on there and, uh, and I'll start doing the doors and the windows